so you will have a combined power of minus 375 when I read it off the, the lensometer and at 165 we turn from 0 to 90 and we're almost at 180 but we stop at 165 we just turn that fine two knob a little bit farther that's all that means let me put your lens packets away so I know to reorder more the lens is actually getting the bevel and the bath and look at that perfect timing we're done so let's go ahead and make sure the left lens fits dry that off and let's go ahead back to the hand stone use my thumbnail to scrape that off and I do that so much I've worn a v-shaped bevel into my thumbnail my friends call it my occupational thumbnail so once all the schwarf is collected on the counter tell you what kids watch this technique behind the back Woo! kids kids stay in school how many times I gotta tell you this so I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner and again I have the side that is empty closest to me. Tuck it in at that outside corner and using my thumbs I press down at the nose and that snaps in easily. So I'm going to take this block off, it is no longer needed. Take that blue sticker off, it is no longer needed. Now I'm going to spin the axis wheel back to 165 which is the axis, the fine tune knob for your left eye. Put that in. I'm reading three and a quarter. Hopefully my new GoPro camera is good enough. Three, three and a quarter, 350, 375, four. So I'm gonna check your astigmatism correction, which is another two steps. And we're at minus 375, one tick mark before the four. So that is cut perfectly. Now your pupillary distance is 34.5 in your right eye, 33 in your left for a combined power of 67.5. I'm gonna turn the back of this card around I'm going to put the zero on my PD stick next to my thumb on your right lens. And when I hold that up, hopefully my GoPro camera is good enough, you will see 67.5, two and a half tick marks away from 70. So that is cut perfectly too. Now the last things I want to do before shipping to you is get your lenses cleaned up. And I also like to at this point mention that 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So if you receive these and these are too loose or too tight, or if it sits high on one side, just stop by. It should only take about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust these properly. Now I'm gonna get these in standard alignment, also known as a three point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter, I press down on each side. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, 80% of people have one ear that's higher than the other. I'm no exception. So when I put mine on the counter, they definitely rock back and forth, but they sit level on me. Sorry, it's hard to put these on with the GoPro camera on the head strap. So I'm going to flip it over, press down, there is no wobble. I make sure that each temple overlaps perfectly and there's the same amount of tension on each spring hinge. The other nice thing about this frame, it has rubber tips here. So that's going to help grip really, really well. And that is it. If anyone has any questions about what I can and can't do, how's this for special effects? Look at those words in the background. See how your lenses minify those large letters? But if anyone has any questions about what I can and can't do, although there's just about nothing I can't do when it comes to a pair of glasses and a prescription. But Chris, I hope you enjoyed watching your glasses being made and everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.